are finally back in New York City. If you've been watching the vlog for the past couple of months, you'll know that every once in a while, I bounce back and forth between Boston and New York City to do my job. A little bit of backstory on that is that about 10 months ago, when I first started my job, they essentially gave me the proposition of after 12 months from now, you can move to wherever in the country you want. You can either stay here in Boston or you can go to wherever, be it Seattle, San Francisco, Denver, Texas, New York City, or what have you. Obviously being given that opportunity is incredible, but the only problem with it is that it's kind of overwhelming in terms of deciding where you wanna go when you have that many options. So kind of funny story behind that is that if you watched the video last week, and how I break down exactly how you can decide either which camera you wanna purchase or decide to stay with the same camera that you currently have. I'll link it right above right here. I actually used that same exact framework in order to decide what city I was going to move to. I met up with my dad, we went out for dinner the one night and he actually showed me exactly how to do that. He broke that down for me, asked me the things that were most important to me and ultimately the one that was number one ended up being New York City and so now here I am and I'm gonna be moving here in like May, maybe even early June. So it's coming up really quick and I could not be any more excited for it. So the main reason why I chose New York City was number one, for the career opportunities within my company but also within the tech industry as a whole. That's an awesome reason to move to New York City, especially right now in 2019. But another awesome reason to move to New York City is for what this YouTube channel is all about, which is photography. New York is my absolute favorite place in the entire world to do photography. And so every time I come here, especially for these week long business trips, I've been doing plenty of photography, but even when I move here in a couple of months, I'm super excited to be super close to everything that I like to photograph all the time. So going off that note, I knew that I was gonna have a crazy busy work week this week. So I took the first train out Sunday morning, which was this morning, to get here around noon so that I could have a full day of photography today. What I wanna to do today is go out and actually shoot some black and white film. I bought this camera, as you know, if you've been watching the videos for my birthday in January this year. And I haven't really shot with it a ton lately just because I haven't necessarily had a ton of opportunities to do so. I shot with it a ton in Ireland when I was there a couple months ago, but work's been crazy busy so I haven't had a ton of opportunities lately. Filming and shooting photos at the same time is kind of a pain to do. So what I've done is this right here. I took my Nikon FE2 and I strapped the GoPro to the top of it. And so what I'll be able to do is focus on taking the photos while simultaneously recording some video. I made the mistake of leaving all of my film except for the one roll that's already in my camera back in my apartment in Boston. So I have a feeling we're gonna run out of film much faster than anticipated. So once that happens, I'm either gonna find some at a store if I'm near one, or I'm just gonna switch over to my Fuji X-T2 and do some photos with that once the film runs out. Let's get right into it. you guys but I really like the way that those photos came out. If you're curious I shot all those photos on Ilford HP5 film which is obviously a black and white film but one of the coolest things about it in my opinion is that it results in those really grainy black and white photos. Some people don't really like super grainy photos but I personally love the look of a super grainy kind of edgy looking black and white film photo. I actually shot all those photos and filmed this video like three weeks ago, but because of how long it took to get all my film developed and the whole nine yards, you're seeing it a couple weeks later. When I was out shooting black and white, I actually had a chance to stop by at B&H Photo Video, which is basically a photography 
superstore in New York City. They have like every camera, every piece of camera equipment that you can possibly imagine. And I was able to just snag a roll of film there. So I was super pumped about that. And I actually spent the second half of the week shooting on that roll of film. So I'll show you some of those photos from that right here. So my favorite shots from this roll of film are definitely the one of the basketball player in front of Freedom Tower. Then also the shot of the Flatiron building with the sunlight kind of coming in from the right hand side. And then finally the photo with the guy crossing the road in front of the Empire State Building. Every time I go to New York I try to capture something going on in front of or around one of the really iconic buildings. And I think that I did a pretty good job doing that with this roll of film. This was actually my first time ever shooting on either of these films. I've never shot on either HP5 or on Pro 400H. I was super happy with the results of both of them and I think that both of them did a great job of capturing what I wanted to capture. So I'll definitely be shooting more of both of these films in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna close out the video here. Let me know, what did you guys think about me shooting film for one of these photo vlogs? It's kind of refreshing every once in a while to not have the pressure of having to like edit your photos and make them all look insanely good and just kind of being content with whatever the film produces. For me personally, there's a lot of pressure every time I go out shooting one of these photo vlogs with my digital camera because I just feel the necessity to produce something that you guys are gonna like and that's gonna look really good on Instagram or whatever. So sometimes it's fun to just take the pressure off, go out, shoot some film, and just have some fun with it. Let me know your thoughts on which photo was your favorite and whether or not you prefer the black and white or the color film. As always, thank you a ton for watching. And by the way, thank you to everybody who's subscribed over the past week or so. I got like 100 more subscribers this weekend because I got featured on Fuji Rumors, which is a big camera gear blog. I'm super pumped about it and thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. If you're new here, my name is Jason Weber. I produce videos like this every single week. If you enjoyed it, please hit that button below, the subscribe button. Also give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the video next week. Thank you. Peace.